don't scare us. I get up, I go hard like I'm George Harris. Make plays, break lanes, push weight, break chains, go hard, kick ass, take names. I love being good, I'ma be great. I'm gonna carry that weight. Earn my stripes, my merits, I gotta go hard like I'm George Harris. Yeah. Welcome to a classic Cowboys fight campaign. I'm joined with a very special, very colorful, the number 12. 135 on the goddamn planet. Some say number one, if you ask his fan base, it's Sugar. Yes, sir. Sugar Sean, what's up, brother? Cheers, man. Cheers, mate. Cheers, man. This, uh, I'm looking forward to this, man. We're sitting down watching some of your fights. We're starting off with really the fight that kind of set your career into the goddamn outer space because Snoop OG went fight. fucking nuts. This is OG. This is uh, was uh, week two of uh, Dana White Contender Series, season one. This is where it all started, yeah. man. Yeah, I think but it was July. I know it says Look September at that there. baby face of 22. Assassin. How old are you now? 27. Mm. It's crazy the last five years. Still young. Now, before we hit play, I'm sure, is there any walkouts or stuff on, uh, not, not on this? Shit. So how, how did this come about, though? Because you were you had 15 amateur fights. How many pro fights have you had this time? Uh, I think I was 6-0 and or 7-0 and right here. And then who got you into the contender series the sugar show himself i fucking i knocked out i had like one of the craziest knockouts in my opinion on before LFA? this yeah the so david Nuzo the spinning yep. kick insane um and i it, the ufc they were they they were looking for talent dana white's contention they were looking for me so I, did you basically. reach out to i had a, i had a manager at the time and uh and and i think that's i mean sean shelby was supposed to be at the fight now they it didn't go um so I, I had a manager at the time that, that was close. They to got you in there. Yeah. And so they give you Alfred. Eight. He was eight and three, eight TKOs. No punk. No punk. Dude, I felt like this Hit was it. a UFC, you know, this was my first UFC fight. I felt like I didn't think it was anything other than a UFC no, fight. No, you should have UFC that caliber. I had the worst fight camp I've ever had for this fight. Really? Yeah. What happened? Got a concussion a couple weeks before the fight. Training partner? Uh, Rob Emerson, I think. You, you know, He's old tough. school Rob. Yeah, Rob's great. Rob, I think, I, I, dude, I remember waking up, living at uh, a tiny ass apartment with Danny, and like waking up in the middle of the night, couldn't look at any lights, puking. You've had concussions, I'm sure. It's like, awful, dude, dude. Concussions are the. And I remember just being in the back, and uh, the pa- song I was playing. Pause it for me. This... People were thinking, yeah, thinking about Sugo. That's dude, all I kept thinking about. I bet. And so, you walk into this. Obviously, now skinny. That... I was eating a vegan diet. Don't do that. No. Yeah, Look at me, that. dude. I'm fucking. I like. I weighed in at 136 pounds. I walked in at 138 pounds. And you know where you can see it is in your ass there. Everywhere. Light in the ass. But you know, it's the same thing. Like for people not to say this is a UFC fight is insane. Like yeah. when I found the Ultimate Fighter, like oh those don't count in UFC fights. I'm like, well, go ask the two guys I knocked out and the one guy submitted unconscious. Like pretty sure that was a fight, man. Yeah. I count those. Those are UFC I don't give fights. A fuck. So. How, how nervous are we for this? Did you realize how big of a deal it was? I, 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 it's hard to say. It was so many fights ago and so many years ago. I don't remember being nervous. Tim was in the back with me. Was I very nervous? Does he get nervous, Tim? I'm not really nervous, but like I said, only hit mitts. Only hit this, mitts. This, this, this was the worst fight camp, hands down, ever. Did, and Tim, did you know uh, how big of a deal this was going to be? Like, did you know this was the, if this, this is his eight mile moment, Mom's we, we didn't think of it like that because I was 22. So we were like, I don't really I, – before this fight, I didn't care if I got into the UFC until I was 24, 25. Like, we weren't in a hurry. We really weren't. My skills weren't there. Like, right here, I'm not a top 15 player, player 100%. Like, I, we, weren't, we weren't thinking, like, we got – this is it. This is our only shot. I lose this fight, I'm back to John. You look Ford. so young, man. Bro, so fucking skinny, so young. Still just good like, movement. And the counter, the counter there is still nice filthy. Right so you see, the, you see the talent. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, that was I, that landed like he he poked me in the eye right there, and that was the first time I've ever really been poked. Um, but that was a it was a very high paced fight right off the rip, dude. So high paced. And I remember thinking like I was completely on like empty after this fight, dude. I, I was so like emotionally, gassed I'm out sure. emotionally, but just like I I wasn't in shape for a fight. I really wasn't. Cause you just hit mitts. And I, my grappling, I'm probably a blue belt right here. I, I I mean I do throw them in a shitty little triangle. Like I had, like a lot of these punches on the ground. I was I was pretty good at defending. Like if you actually watch where the punches are landing, like they're not really. Li- you're doing a good job with your feet there. Yeah. So I'm the fence. Not mad at it though. Yeah. Okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. Agree. Nice, um, like a semi triangle there. there. But I think the biggest thing of that is like, okay, I threaten off my back. He's got to be aware. Yeah, lands he a couple can't good just shots. go freelance there. 
Um, you have Fat Joe in the back. That's cool as a rap. Yeah, um, big fatty. So you're trying to get to your I need f- to get the fuck up here. I'm like, God damn. This is where he's finished eight of his fights. Now, in your head, are you thinking, like, God, this is my opportunity, man. Like, I got to – like, I, I can't remember, go out like I, this. I really don't remember thinking of anything in any of these – these spots uh i remember being tired yeah i remember do, being like oh shit i'm f- I'm fatigued and have like, you had fights go like this prior never. to this never so this is the first time for this you is the first this is the first time i really had show ad- any adversity i'd say and his his he's, he's pretty he's good. Yeah, alfred he's, was good yeah man do you ever wonder what happens to he these got, guys he got knocked out by sergio pettis recently oh. or not recently a couple years ago bad bad yeah that's a nice left hand right there i heard him with that left hand Trying to counter his jab, um, I, w- I was confident because, I, like I said, I've been fighting since I was 16, so I had knocked out so many people going into this fight. Yeah, you're not scared I knew of I was this capable guy. of. You're it. not scared of him. Right here, I no, it's okay. Right, that was a close. I remember almost landing Ooh, that, that and that's close. what set it up. That was a double jab right hand. Oh, landed nice was knee. Money. Little elbow now, in the break. I'm not right gonna lie, here. he looks stronger. Very you know strong. Like dude, he looks. I've he's never. A grown I don't man. lift. I've never lifted. I've you're never also a lifting vegan program. here. But you have I, Brian Callen's chest right yes, now. Yes, and ass. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, that double jab right hand, I almost landed earlier. I big knew that in the still back popping, of my head. Though. Oh, big I got the big still cup. popping, yep. This is all for show, though, really. Yeah, I know. Unless this right here, Musasi. double jab right hand, double jab sets up it the right hand. It looks like you're setting it up, too. <sighs> Ooh, right you're there, a little couple stutter step. Big, Boom! And then the right head kick. Ding, Boom! And then the right knee. Ding. Bam! And now I'm like, okay, I'm in control of this fucking fight. I need to not grapple right now. My fucking car. And his face up. is fucked. He up. doesn't know where the fuck he's at right yeah, now. Yeah, he's concussed right now. He's like, okay, what the fuck just happened? And, and are, you thinking, what, are you thinking in your head, hell yeah, let's get this guy out of here? When I hurt someone, I finish. Like, I, I, I don't just, blood in the I don't just finish people right off the. I hurt him first and yep. then finish him. So I, I have him hurt. Now it's all about. Now it's just you're going for blood. Now bink, you're throwing different too. Bink, and you are bink, landing bink. like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's just accurate. Ref almost stops the fight. I love the feints too. Yep, slipping uppercuts right here. He's he's throwing. I'm slipping, trying to land uppercuts. Yeah, what a slobber knocker! And I yeah. don't use that word very. No, often. that was a slobber knocker. His brother in like the audio, you can oh. hear his brother yelling. Coach Edmund fucking Ronda's b- oh, black Edmund belt Turbani. boxing Turbani. coach. Yeah, slip uppercut. Yeah, so I was I was fucking just looking for the this this knockout right here. It got me so many fucking fans. Yeah, he kind of landed Boom. there, but you're he did. you're going Countered backwards. Back. Huh? Tried spin, nothing. Finally, sprawl a little bit. Circle back into the middle of the cage. Yeah, this people are like, why is his hands up? That knockout, like, what, he didn't even have his hands up. I'm like, it's because he's fucking concussed. Yeah, he's concussed and also exhausted. From right here. Up. And there's Dana in the crowd. And Dana stands up. Boom! Dude, Dana stands up. Step Anytime back. Dana stands up, and it, you, that's that's the goal. That's but what you, need, this guy, I've watched this video so many times. I could look watch at you. What are you saying right there? I was looking for Dana, and I, was, I knew I was going to say, welcome to the Sugar Show. It's my fucking show. So I'd climb up in the middle, welcome to the Sugar Show. It's my show. <laughs> and see, uh, and the, I think, too, what's powerful there is, like, I think Dana saw the star power there. Because think yeah. how many fights that dude has watched. There's only one person who's watched more fights than Dana. It's Joe Rogan. Yep. So Dana knows talent, and he knows a star when he sees it. And this was the beginning of Ooh. a fucking budding star, to say the least. That's crazy. No now, face I feel, like, I feel like Alfred feels better because you've went on to do great things. Yeah, you know what I'm to. saying? Andy like when, whenever like, I got beat, I always root for the guy to like. I'm like, dude, win yeah, the championship. Yeah, like go on and do. Makes you look better. Yeah, for sure. Way better. I, even the guys I, you know, kill. I'm like, I want to see them. You do want good. them to win, yeah. Otherwise, it makes your win look better. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. But yeah, no, that was a big one. I mean, right after that, I, you know, ob- they they announced I got the contract, and then I go and smoke fucking with Snoop Dogg in his trailer, and I'm just did Snoop floating. invite you? How'd that work? Yeah, Snoop's like. Snoop's one of Snoop's bodyguards came down and said, "Hey, Snoop wants to meet you." So they walk me out, or they walk me up to where Snoop and Uriah were, and then he has to commentate the rest of the fight. So I met him real quick, went back down, sat in the locker room, and waited for all the fights to get over. Then they announced that I got the contract, and then I went out to his trailer. And what cool dude! He was just congratulating. It's hard for me to even remember, dude. There was like (laughs) seven blunts in rotation, so you never didn't have one. And I had stopped smoking. I knew I was getting (laughs) tested, so I take a puff. I'm already high. 
Now, and I just got a UFC contract, and I'm coming off a viral knockout that I know is going viral. One of the best moments of your I'm life. Now I'm smoking with Snoop. One of your best moments of your life. Yeah, it's not uh, the best. It per, well, it's got to be up there. I just don't remember it much. I was so fucking. <laughs> so, I walked out of that trailer with glasses on, and like there was the like. <laughs> I was like, well, where am I at? It was the first time I was around a bunch of cameras. When did it hit you that that was like life changing for you? Like maybe two days after. Um, I remember I was like, oh, oh shit, TMZ wants to fucking do an interview. <laughs> I threw on my weed robe and grabbed like a fucking seven foot joint and like it was just i'm like i gotta fly you i'm gonna play up, this role man. but i'm gonna i'm gonna this is time time to shine baby. It, just kind of yeah and then the contract you get off the contender series what's that look like so i w- it was 10 and 10 straight off the con- contender series they did not give a fuck they're like we fucked up with sage north cut we gave him like 50 50 and he yeah, fucking sucks he ruined it for everybody. so i was 10 and 10 off that uh first fight then i fight um uh at uh terry on where negotiate new contracts like 2020 um, win that did new contract, so I, I was able to get not terrible, not especially horrible. for like early. Yeah, on. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't, and I and I I don't necessarily disagree with the ten and ten. Sometimes if you're bringing on a guy that no, not, I agree. They're investing building. and they don't know. They don't know. He's, he's not. Sp- I mean, he's I not de- selling twenty thousand dollars worth no. of tickets. Like, so I wasn't mad, but you know, I remember after this fight, I was pretty fired up. Like, what? You're really not gonna fucking pay me? Yeah, because of what I had just done. But yeah, I, I do remember I fought Gonzaga for eight and eight. So Bro. hold hold my bear. Yeah, you know, I mean, you've done well since at least. Yeah, fuck. some God. people are probably like still fucked. Oh yeah, by some people I mean the majority. Of people. Yeah, ninety nine percent. So this fight's an interesting fight. Me versus Eddie Wineland, UFC 250. So this was... This was a test for you, man, because Eddie test. Wineland obviously fought for... Uh, he fought Uriah Faber. I fought on the same card. He fought for the WC championship yep. as well. Like Also, kind of, you could say it, WC legend. Yep. Like Eddie Wineland's a monster, yep. man. Super vet. This knockout, I think, is when... I would say the majority of the roster got jealous. Yeah. Yeah, this was is the first time... Say? Yeah, I think so. First time I did my hair. So I was coming off... Uh, this was... Um, July 10th or some shit. I was coming off a two-year layoff. I had two surgeries. I just fought... Ooh. Um, I had just fought um, Jose Quinones, and it was off a two-year layoff, first-round knockout, and then they offered me Eddie Wineland. I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah, that's, you know, another Which is a big fight. step up. It was a big step. I think that was the UFC be like, let's see what we got here. Yeah. A little bit of it. I think so, too. I, it, was, it, was a perf- it was a perfect fight because yeah, the dude's going to try to fucking kick, fight, kickbox with me. Agree. And, and I, this knockout is so filthy, man. Yeah, no, this is one of the this is one of the ones where it's like, okay, bottom left, there like you, go. you gotta be, you gotta be able, you gotta be very high level to to do the shit that I did. In this well, spot. he's also seen it all too. He's you know seen, what I'm it, saying? Yeah. Like he's been in there with he some had, monsters. He had seen it all, but I every time I fight someone, they've never seen someone like me. I'm just different. And like, I think that's the problem for these guys that are fighting you. It's like. They can watch tape, but there's nobody they're going to bring in into their gym to, that can mimic what you do, Absolutely. which is a problem. It's kind of like and Wonderboy Thompson. Yep. It's like you can bring in the Taekwondo karate guys, but he just moves in ways that you're not going to be able to train for. Yep. Look at that and, fucking hair. People and this this one, Takashi 6 9 was like, who is that? That's the first time. Yeah, that, this, that, that hair is legendary fucking hair dude like that was are you going back to the rainbow you think or no it's pretty lit now my girl does my hair so i kind of let her i mean we 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 both kind of talk about it and decide depends what season what day what year where we're at in life so i mean there's a lot that goes into the decision of the hair i'm jealous of your hair man i dyed my hair uh kind of that color and it was a complete nightmare (laughs) i i look like uh, the biggest uh gayest hell's angel you've ever seen (laughs) i look like anderson cooper on fucking leather jacket It it, it was a nightmare Dude, and yeah, I regret it ever funny. since. And so I see your hair and I'm jealous. Yeah, no, it's uh Oh, I that shit is it. lit. Yeah, the braids. I mean, it was like that was the, there was more. I don't even remember who the main event was. The most thing that talked about was my hair this fight. Like going into this fight week was like, "Holy fuck, what's a the? statement?" It for is. sure. And it was like I was like I have to do something. I didn't think I always think I have to do something sick. Not I have to, that I'm going to do something sick. And it's, I knew I was about to do something fucking viral. And is this also the first time with the face tats? Um, when did you wear, like, you know what, no. let's go to the face. When after after Shocker Mom fight, I fought. It was my first fight on the UFC pay-per-view. I felt like a fucking star, and I got a star tattoo on the face. And that then the, the rest one. of it, you got sugar, you got the heart. I got the sugar, heart, I got breathe up here. It says breathe if I look in a mirror, like it says it backwards. And oh, then that's I got dope. A, um, a little flower right there, just fucking random And then shit. you got the, the checkmate. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I got me shooting a free throw or do a little jump shot oh, on the dude, other side. That used to be a yeah. thing, right? It's my I, thing. Yeah, I want to do the neck tattoo so bad, dude. Why not? 
you know, I already look like a Hell's Angel on stage. It's just... Dude, you'll f- once you think of something, you might as well get it. Yeah. Fucking, we're all going to die anyway. Oh, God, you're so right, dude. I'm going to fucking do it <laughs> after would, this. Shit, I'll get one, too. Shit. Um, yeah, this fight was pretty cool, too. His first fight in the Apex. So for me, what a brilliant move by the UFC! Be- went, oh, brilliant. you're gonna shut shit down. Small We're just cage. gonna run it out of ourselves. It's like the Ultimate Fighter, really. Yep. Like there's only a handful of people. Small cage, which sucks. I don't like small cage. Bad for your style. Yep. Just calm, very calm, but urgent, ready, f- great feints. Like I gotta keep be honest, man. Distance. Your hair looks fucking great. It lo- that that's one of my f- dude. I love that hair. I'm sure your girl's got more business over yep. the hair game. She's uh yeah she's she's blowing she's up, very dude. good. Yeah, and she's like bl- she's a black belt in hair. I like to say. Yeah. Yeah, but this was like a. I remember he lands one right hand this fight. Didn't really. I mean, I, I remember f- feeling it, but I wasn't like, oh shit. You're throwing a lot of feints. Always. And he's trying to cut off the cage because obviously they've studied your movement. Yep. But again, you can't really train for your movement. So I think it's easier said than done when the right coach goes, right cut hand. off the cage. Yeah. Oh, way easier. You know what I'm saying? Done. Like, look at your movement here. I'm juking back it's and filthy. forth. Just constantly stutter stepping, and then when but I but you're also not wasting energy. You know what I'm saying? No. Like you look at some guys, like dude, you're gonna fucking gas out. Yeah. Like I'm not worried about your movement gassing out. Yeah, I can do this all day. God, that hair is fucking lit, dude. I, I can't it. get enough of it. So look at this uppercut. Look at that. That punch right there is the one I knocked him out with. I just threw it just now though. Early three minutes, fifty seconds left. You hit him with an uppercut, right? I, I faked the uppercut, left hand, right hand. That's where he hit me, me with the right hand. But uh, did it hurt? I, f- I remember feeling it. I don't remember being like, oh, shit, I can't get hit by that again. But I was like, okay, I got hit by right hand, just like being aware of it. His co- I remember his corner kept yelling uh, Tyson, Tyson. So I was assuming it was either a 2-3 or 3-2. Mm-hmm. But it was weird because you could hear in the in there. You could hear the other coach. You could hear everything, yeah. yeah. Which can be somewhat of a distraction because if they know you're listening, they throw mm-hmm. code words at exactly. you. Like you're fighting Noguera. Yeah, the, you never know. They're trying to trick you or they're. Ooh. That's what set it all up. That was a liver shot. I dropped so many people with that liver shot. I don't know how he was standing. That hurt you him. You can tell. Sure. That hurt it's him. Like, look at his movement. Boom. Boom. And then you go back Boom. to the kick. That right hand landed. Oof. And then you're trying to take him out there. But he's, he's definitely wobbled here. Like, he's hurt. Cut. Boom. Oh, my God, dude. And it was a silent in there. All you hear was... Like, it was crazy. And one of the best parts, too, is... You're pretty Herb calm. Herb Deem st- goes to step in, and I'm, like, I'm in such a relaxed... Like, he pushed me. I kind of, like... Yeah, like whatever, just dude. I'm so relaxed in there. You expected that. I, w- I knew once I heard it with that liver shot, dude. When you hurt someone with a liver shot, if they don't drop, you know they're in some serious fucking pain. But I didn't I, sweat. I also think oh, with that weird. liver shot, too, it shows you how tough fucking Eddie Wineland is. Like most, nine, nine, 99% of the time, people are going to drop. There's your coach. Yep. Tim, I That was Mendes. filthy, dude. Brandon, strength and conditioning coach. Yeah, that so those two years off, like this is my second fight with those two years off. I started, I lifted. I first time I ever got on a lifting program. Dude, you look like a different human being. Uh, well, I was eating a vegan diet before. Not, I was for a little bit for that fight, and then my debut, I was so two fights. But then and I started. Why, why vegan? I don't hate on it. My mom's I a do. vegetarian. No, but. Sure. I think I I was just trying trying new shit, dude. I wanted to feel what, just try a new thing. What if it could have been great? It yeah. wasn't, but it could have been, and. uh Herb, like, watch me walk off. Herb's, like, pushes like, me away. I'm like, I'm already walking, yeah, bro. Yeah, come on, Herb. Yeah, I mean, that's just him, like, making sure he was just... snoring. Yeah, that's tough, man. And Rogan said that was one of the, he said the best knock a oh, walk off KO he's ever seen. It's pretty filthy. I think Mark there. Hunt might Mark have Hunt's something got to say some there. Sick but ones. His but knock... he's big. He's, he's supposed to. He's the biggest. I'm 35, or we're not supposed to walk off KO. Fair point. Fair point. Eddie, what a nice guy, dude. Like, I genuinely. Know, legend, I dude. Feel, when I knock people out, I, I, I genuinely. Has the Val Kilmer mustache from Tombstone, too? <sighs> yeah. That's fucked up, like, dude. God, what you did was so fucked up. Yeah, no, that one was. Uh, Your coach trying to pretend he has a mask on? I know. he, Dude, every. It's just covering his mouth while every, he's talking. We go on flights, and he's like, dude, hey, we, the guy, <laughs> we put your mask on. You, and then down. <laughs> Redheads. Poor <laughs> Redheads. Poor Eddie, man. I know. And then you feel he for him, but yeah. also this is the path. Look at that, le- just the left side of his body. You know it fucking hurt, dude. And you're <sighs> calm. He's like, fuck, dude. Yeah, I remember just closing my eyes. I like to close just like really. Take it in. Feel, just feel rather than see. The legend <sighs> continues yeah, of that sugar. Was, that that builds crazy. the legend. So that was 2019. No, 2020, I think. 2020 to 2030 is the sugar fucking era. Yeah, because that was like the, you had the Apex Center with not many fans. So that yeah, that's twenty twenty when the far left top, not bottom left. Boom. How so this is your most know? recent fight. Yep. Uh, Pavia again. First time yeah. fighting someone younger. 
Oh shit! Yeah, that's twenty six. Which was kind of interesting. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, again, I didn't. I wasn't crazy about this fight for you just because I'm aware of this dude and the experience that he has. Tough sleeper. Yeah, like it's a tough night in the office. Like he's not gonna. A, he's not gonna be scared of the hype. Like look at this fucking crowd, man. <sighs> Insane. Dude, when I walked out, so this is the opening of a main card. When I walked out to fight Chris Montino, opening main card Connor versus Dustin, it wasn't like this. Really? When for I Connor fucking fight. when I walked for the yeah, opening the main. When I walked out for this fight, that bitch was fucking packed, and they were there for the fucking sugar show, dude. They really were. Like you this was at- Charles versus Dustin, but I swear to God, the motherfuckers were there for the sugar show. And you said that. I yeah. Think the I mean, build up. You're like they're here for me. This is this is my show. Here, still pretty lit. Yeah, no, I admit that 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 hair's hard. all. I, anytime she does hair, it's gonna be fucking sweet. But yeah, and the fourteen and oh, you already know. See, I thought fourteen and oh, I think the the minus three fifty. I think that was being gracious because the whoever made the odds. Obviously, I believe in your skill set. Right. But just with his, yeah. re- I think with nineteen and two or something. I, you're talking about a and real coming bet. off of, like he fought my buddy Kyler Phillips, who I train with. Uh huh. And Kyler's a motherfucker, yeah. dude. He's gonna be. He's going to be in the top five champ. Like, he's going to run the division. <clears throat> Me and him are going to be up there. Like, and, and he just fought Paiva, who I, I thought Kyler won the fight, even if you – the worst, worst scenario, it was a draw. It was a crazy fucking sure. fight. But I know how good Kyler is. And I'm like yeah. – and he was able to go with the distance. I'm yeah. like, fuck, this motherfucker's good, dude. Good black belt, trains out alpha male. Yeah, so you got Uriah Faber in his corner I, who's no Who punk. I love. Fucking yeah, I love, love Uriah, Uriah, dude. Did you fight your ass? Never. I, I couldn't. The California I wanna, kid? When I fight someone, I, wanna, I have to want to hurt them. I could never I fight them. You. I just have a mutual respect for him, for him, and I've had you know small conversations with him. But, dude, I, I just really think he's a good dude, and I would not want to knock him out. Smart dude, too. Brilliant businessman. Yeah. You're ready to go for this one. You got the six Takashi 6'9 tat. tattoo. That was my first 6'9 tat. UFC 269. 6 9 was supposed to be there. Ended oh, that's up cool, not coming. man. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Who else? I think Jared Leto was in the crowd. Jared Leto is my biggest fan, dude. It, no way. Yeah. God, you don't know who I am. And I'm He's such a fan. Great. He's my spirit animal, we're, dude. We're boys. Oh. Yeah. Man. He was at my last fight, too. Oh. We got a sick pick when I was blacked out. Really? Did I he have that red hat on? But here early on, teep into the body. I'm not going to throw any low leg What's kicks. the game plan here? A teep, stay away. Because you knew he was going to try and get you down. I'm not going to try to kick him in the legs. I'm not going to try to kick him in the head. I'm going to tease. Because you don't want him to take you down. Yep, no takedowns. Because I haven't grappled in three weeks here. I did not know where my ribs were. I did not. See right there? Look at that. It throws a little leg kick, pull out. And DC's like, I don't know why they don't try to kick him in the legs. I'm like, come on. He just fucking tried. But uh, yeah, just constantly, you know, the, my you, people that watch my fan, have faint a lot and, and stay on the outside. The dude. faints are brilliant. Stomp man. his fucking knee. Yep. And uh, just, just uh, you know, I was, I didn't know. You you find out where your cardio is at when you spar three rounds with a fresh guy each round. You, you really know where your cardio is. I didn't get to do that. For so this fight. did you have nerves going into the fight because that? I was very confident. I, w- I feel like I was just in control of my mind, and I knew I had the right thoughts, the right, right thought processes to go into this. That's that championship mentality. I have dude. a championship mindset, dude. Correct. That's just fucking. I got to show it to myself in this fight. Yeah, you're proving something to yourself. Yep. Not having the perfect camp, still fighting a yep. monster, a lot of pressure. Main card, opening fight on the main so card. So this was you questionable. Yeah, Jared Leto Boom. right there. Definitely not in the nuts. It, they was, show another angle and it kind of looks, but that right that there. That was not in the nuts. No. Let me see. It's like it's still right on the belt line. Uh, but I think if it was a nut shot, he would have hurt more. And I think 100%. He, in the moment, you get hit. It's close. You don't know. You're like, fuck. You're like, ah, you don't know. But he, he played it off to where he was good. So I see Jared Leto back there in the yep. hoodie. Right here, the jab, apart, keep the jab landing. The, jab. the distance Frustrate is good. Him. Yes. Now he's starting to come, and that's what I want. Right he's also there. missing. You, you're trying to lead him in to get the knockout. I want him to just overcommit on some shit. Right there, barely miss with that right hand. Throwing a left to the body. I always mix it up well. Body, legs, head. And when I say legs, I was doing a lot of more leg stomps this fight rather than... And you can like feel legs. him start to overcommit a little bit. Yeah, he's, I'm, I'm fine. If you guys want to pressure me, you go ahead. I'm gonna Did you think this you was going to be a first-round KO? I think in a lot of the interviews I said I just don't see it going out of there. But I also knew how tough he was. So I was like, I'm ready for 15. I kept saying that because mentally I'm, I was. But I guess physically I thought I was in good shape too. Um, ooh, that, that would have been clean. He's, he's pressure. They look him, at man. the clock right there. I'm not fucking gassed out. I look at the clock. I want to know how much time, they yeah. got, how much time I got left. I know. Stomp the I leg. bet you DC doesn't say that again now that he <laughs> knows what Yeah, exactly and, and DC, doing. I think he's like, you should have just told me that rather than just come out. But, nah, but still, Sorry, DC. Don't be fighters mad. are sen- sensitive. Yeah. 
dancing on him. Big cage, man. I fucking love that big, beautiful left hand there. Just a I think for sniper. you to flourish, we need the bigger cage. I'm never going to find the small cage again. And now, when they tell you for your next fight, you go, what, what size is the octagon? It, well, if it's in Vegas and T-Mobile, we're good. If it's at the Apex, it's small. Yes. So I think, I think, I think Dubai's smaller, too. Ooh, yeah. Fuck I Dubai, that. dude. I, mean, I, dude my last, why fly all the way out Every UFC there? fight has been in Vegas. I don't fight anywhere other than Vegas. And I told UFC that. Why would you? Exactly. I don't get why you guys do it. I don't. Mousy, you have the <laughs> power to do it. Land a nice little leg kick there, but it's like he's trying to go for the legs, but you're not giving him much to work with because your movement. Even if he does land, it's like it's, my leg's not going to shut off like no. the Cheeto fight. Like I still have. You can tell it was in his game plan, though. Yeah, of course, and I and I know that going into my fights, people <coughs> kick, kick my legs, put me up against the fence. Good luck. You, Dude, it looks like I, you've busted up his nose, though. Yeah, when I uh, see you land a nice little leg kick there, little check, little land, but... Good feint. Ooh, that good jab, jab. Is That's where I might have broke my hand, or thumb. Right there? You just, like, land on the side of his head. He's fuck. He's quick. He, he's fucking, yeah. He's pressuring. I, dude, 20 and, was he 21 and 2? Yeah, is insane, something like dude. that. Yeah. Well, every time I get up against a fence like that, I, I'm going left, right. You're you don't know which way you're right, going to go. Yeah. Circle back in the yeah, middle. It's a, it's a, you're a tough uh, problem to solve for these guys who cut off the cage, man. So right here, I hit him with a fucking, the first right hand, Tanquino, he speaks Portuguese. He listened to a full podcast, and the kid said, yeah, if I get hurt, I'm not scared to, like, back up, take a step. So I fuck, and he told me that. I hit him with this right hand, and in my head, I'm like, wow, that, I know that hurt him, but I got it, it was validated when he did kind of step back and reset. Because and he said that if he gets hurt. Cause, yeah, he yeah. told Tanquino, he was like, hey, dude. And like, and did you, you already land the right hand here? Not yet. I'm landing it here in a second. He, it's tough for him to touch him, man, so he's getting right frustrated. Here. Yeah, he's getting frustrated. Yes. Boom, that right hand. Watch him take a step back. I'm yeah, like, there okay, I hurt him. There he Another goes. Another teeth, yeah. and then same right hand, faint low. This is the boom. boom. God. Switch stance, God. southpaw. Now I'm southpaw, just Nick Diaz. Uh, uh, hook, hook, Oof. hook, body head. That's Nick Diaz's shit right there. Hook. God. Hook, damn, hook, 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 hook. Boom. boom. Oh, my boom. God. Oh. There you go. Oh, God damn. That and felt the good, dude. Continues. It felt so good. Go. Like, I just jump so shot. relieved. Where's, what's, where's the jump shot thing come from? Well, it, well, I think I first did it when the Suns were in the were uh, in the championship, and then uh, oh, and I just kept doing it. Yeah, and then right after Steve threw me this chain over the cage, because Steve was front row, uh, and that was fucking dope. What a I gotta man. find that picture of uh, of what you, Jay Leto. Oh, you Jay and Leto. The, uh, Jared Leto. <laughs> yeah, the Jay dime Leto. piece, dude. Jay you know, he, I think he's so fifty. Funny. Is he really? Yeah. What the? fuck? I think he drinks like baby deer blood. I don't know what's going on. God, he's such a dime piece. Post that on me. Boom, dude! That right hand was God. Duh. I can't believe insane. he didn't go out. Jared Leto is yelling for you. Wow, what black. a picture! And that's that's you with Jared Leto and the guys from uh, what band are they from? The fucking uh, uh, Chainsmokers. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, you just found out. Yes, yeah, the chain smoker guy. Three million. What the fuck? That's sick. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're massive. God, I got blacked out after the Chris Moutinho fight. Jumped in head first into a pool. And Tim's after. <laughs> Tim's Look at after Tim me. trying to get you. <laughs> Everyone's looking. I jumped in. It was like two feet, bro. I hit my head. My head was bleeding. Fuck mm. sake! That's in Vegas. Yeah, that was yeah, after the wow. Chris Moutinho fight. I did. Yeah, that's a good night though, huh? Oh yeah. I mean, I think. <laughs> I don't remember. Look at you with the free throw. The, the Jump fuck, shot. The fade away. That, the felt, that was a Devin nice Booker. relief. You felt good, dude. huh? Oh, God. Because just, I just, first time going into a fight like injured, other than the contender series where I was concussed in a shitty camp, but that felt like so long ago. It's like the first big UFC fight. I'm like, this is, we'll see, let's go. But And then now God, it's off the race because even up. after that, Dan's like, we got to pay this kid. That Yep, that was the fight that where Dan's like, hey, dude. We got to pay this kid. Which, which I feel like I've. That's the way you got to do it. Even young fighters coming up, like, don't ask for money. Go out there and perform. Correct. That's what's going to happen. You got to become undeniable. Yep. You just got to fucking go out there. And you got and the it. chain on, and uh, Steve will do it through you, the chain. Threw it to me, and then Tim put it on backwards. So it's just like the back of the chain. <laughs> so it doesn't, it's not like shiny. Nope. Like the, but fuck it. And then you got three other ones now? Yeah, Steve actually gave me this one, too. Okay. So what is Steve the greatest guy of all time? Oh, fuck. Yeah. You, I mean, fuck. Good dude, he was that. He was that front row wearing my fucking thirteen zero pink sugar jersey. That's dope, Steve's man. A man, bro. I love fucking it, brother. Good dude, you deserve it, man. These are fun to do. Ooh. It's fun watching your fights, man. I love. No, that was your that was fucking dope. Dude. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Appreciate you, brother. Well, uh, yeah, fun. man. I can't thank you enough for being the 
the first fire to come out here when we're you know we're not on Showtime is Thick Boy Fuck Production, yeah. dude. So I think we're gonna do a lot more of this, man. Yeah, we'll do the setup you got here. Like I was telling Tim too, and I was telling you, like our setup is this is this is goals. This is what we want our setup to yeah. be like, like this. So this is fucking sweet to come be able to like check it out. I feel like this is in your future. Yeah, you remember you. I've been doing this for about nine years. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you get, I, I think you're get on the right there. track. Get there. Yeah, fuck yeah. Excited for your both. next fight. More excited for the next hairstyle you're gonna do. We'll see. Wish you luck, brother. Thank you, bro. Take care of that hand. Enjoy the whiskey. A little bit of work, man, that don't scare us. I get up, I go home.